In this video, we're going to focus on calculating the area of a kite. So let's say that we have kite A, B, C, D. And we're told that B, C, or rather B, D, is equal to 10, and A, C is 20. What is the area of the kite? A, C is the length of one of the uh, diagonals, which we'll call D1. So A, C is 20. B, D is the length of the other diagonal, D2, which is 10. The area of a kite is the same as the area of a rhombus. It's 1 half D1 times D2. So it's going to be 1 half of 20 times 10. Now half of 20 is 10, and 10 times 10 is 100. So the area of this particular kite is 100 square units. Now let's work on a second example. So once again, we have kite A, B, C, D. And let's draw the two diagonals of the kite. And they meet at point E. So let's say that AB is 10 units long and DC is 17 and EC is 8. So with this information, go ahead and calculate the area of the kite. So AB is 10, DC is 17, EC is 8. So what do we need to do? The first thing we need to realize is that for a kite, AB and BC are congruent. So therefore, BC is 10 units long. And also, DC and AD are congruent. So AD is 17 units long. Now the two diagonals of a kite, they meet at right angles. And one of the two diagonals is bisected by the other. BD bisects AC. So E is the midpoint of AC, which means if EC is 8, AE is also 8. So therefore, we have the length of diagonal AC, which we could call D1. It's 8 plus 8, or 16 units. So now what we need to do is calculate BE and ED. So let's focus on BE first. So we have a right triangle that looks like this. We have the hypotenuse, we have the base, and we need to calculate this side, which let's call it B. So we know that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. The hypotenuse C is 10, according to the Pythagorean theorem. A is 8, and let's calculate B. 10 squared is 100, 8 times 8 is 64. Now 100 minus 64 is 36. So now let's take the square root of both sides. The square root of 36 is 6. So BE is 6 units long. Now let's focus on the second right triangle. Triangle CED. So EC is 8 and the hypotenuse is 17. Let's calculate the missing side, DE. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we have that 17 squared is equal to 8 squared plus b squared. 17 times 17 is 289. 8 squared is 64. Now we need to subtract both sides by 64. 289 minus 64 is 225. And the square root of that number is 15. So ED is 15. Now we can calculate the length of the other diagonal, D2. So it's going to be 6 plus 15, which is 21. So the area of a kite is 1 half D1 times D2. So that's 1 half times 16 times 21. Half of 16 is 8. And 8 times 21 is 168. 
So that's the area of this kite. It's 168 square units. Let's try another problem. So once again, we have kite ABCD with diagonal BD and AC. Let's say that BC is 20. But let's say that angle BEC is 30 degrees. Now let's say angle EAD is 45 degrees. With this information, go ahead and calculate the area of the kite. Pause the video if you want to try it. Now let's focus on the angles first. We know that the two diagonals meet at right angles. Now you need to know that diagonal AC bisects these two angles. So what that means is that ECD is also 30. These two angles are equivalent. And AC bisects angle BAD into two congruent angles. So BAE is 45 degrees as well. Now because this is a right triangle, angle ABE must also be 45 degrees. And EBC has to be 60, because the three angles in a triangle has to add up to 180. 90 plus 30 plus 60 is 180. Now it's also good to know that one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So these angles are not congruent. However, these angles are congruent. So therefore, this has to be 60 as well, and this is 45. Now we don't need all of the angles, just some of them. So we need to know that this is 45, and this is 45, and this is 60. And with that information, this is enough to get the answer that we're looking for. So how can we use the angles to calculate the missing sides? Well, let's focus on the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. The hypotenuse of this triangle is 2. Across the 30, it's 1 half of whatever this is. Half of 2 is 1. Across the 60, it's whatever this is times the square root of 3. So for example, let's say if we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle and the hypotenuse is 10. Across the 30, it's going to be half of 10. So that's going to be 5. Across the 60, it's whatever this is times the square root of 3, so 5 square root 3. So here we have a hypotenuse of 20. So across the 30, it's going to be half of 20. So that's 10. Now E is the midpoint of BD. So BE and ED are congruent. So ED is also 10, by the way. Now across the 60, it's going to be whatever this is times the square root of 3. So that's going to be 10 square root 3. Now you can use trig to get the same answer. For example, let's say if we want to calculate the 10. Sine 30 is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So let's say we're looking for the opposite side. So let's call that x. The hypotenuse is 20. So if you cross multiply, x is equal to 20 sine 30. And sine of 30, if you type it in your calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, is 1 half. So half of the 20 will give us 10. Now let's say if we want to calculate this side, we can use cosine. So cosine 30 is equal to the adjacent side, which is 10 square root 3, but let's call that y, divided by the hypotenuse. And this is based on Soka Toa, for those of you who have taken trig. The so part tells us that sine is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So relative to 30, 10 square root 3 is the adjacent side, 10 is the opposite side, 20 is the hypotenuse. 
So if we cross multiply, we can see that y is equal to 20 cosine 30. Now cosine 30 is like 0.866 as the decimal. The exact value is the square root of 3 over 2. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. So we get 10 square root 3, which is this answer. Now the only other thing that we need in order to calculate the area of this kite is we need the length of AE. So let's focus on the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So opposite to 90 is the square root of 2, or 1 times the square root of 2. Opposite to 45, it's 1. So therefore, across the 45 degree angles, those two sides have to be the same. So if this is 10, this side has to be 10 as well because we have an isosceles triangle. If the angles are the same in the right triangle, then the opposite sides are equivalent to each other. So now we have the length of diagonal AC. It's 10 plus 10 square root 3. So let's call that D1. And then diagonal BD, it's just 10 plus 10, which is 20. So the area is going to be 1 half D1 times D2. So that's going to be half of 10 plus 10 square root 3 times the other diagonal, which is 20. So half of 20 is 10. So we're going to have 10 times 10 plus 10 square root 3. So we need to distribute the 10. 10 times 10 is 100. And 10 times 10 square root 3 is 100 square root 3. So this is the exact answer for the area of the kite. Now, if you want to get, let's say, a decimal value of this, the decimal value is 273.2 square units. And so you can report your answer like that if you want to.